Hey friends, this is Bryn from Cherry Grove Farmhouse. Today I am participating in a What's for Dinner collaboration and it's hosted by Angel McMillan and I'll have her channel linked down below. Go down and click on her channel and check her out. I know you're gonna enjoy her videos. There'll also be a playlist linked down below that has all kinds of dinner ideas and I think you're going to enjoy each and every one of them. So let's get in the kitchen and start cooking. This is what we're going to need to make our crock pot chicken pot pie. We need some chicken, of course, and I have a little bit in this bag. It calls for like a pound and a half to two pounds, I believe the recipe says. So this is probably about maybe a pound. And then this is, this is a pound, 1.10 pounds. So we're gonna use both of those to make sure there's plenty of chicken in there. Um, we need some sour cream, some mixed vegetables. Now it only calls for 12 ounces, but I only have that two pound bag. So I'm just gonna take out what I need and put the rest back in the freezer. It calls for garlic and of course biscuits, but uh, it called for the Grand's biscuits, but that's just the Great Value brand uh, of the Grand's biscuits. And the seasonings, the recipe is a little bit different than what I'm going to do. Y'all know me, I like to do things a little <laughs> differently in recipes. So I'm going to use the caramelized onion butter, which is my favorite seasoning of all time, some onion powder and some celery salt. So first thing we're going to do is we're gonna get the chicken into the crock pot and yes, it's still frozen and I do that all the time and I've never had any issues. So you'll have to let me know do you put your chicken in frozen or do you defrost it before you put it in? So let's get the chicken in the crock pot. Okay, I have my crock pot liner in my crock pot. I have it turned up to high. I'm gonna put my chicken in first. So I'm gonna dump it on in there. This thing is now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my seasoning on, start with my Kinder's Caramelized Onion Butter, and I'm gonna sprinkle that with a generous amount, and some onion powder. Get that on the chicken. And then just a little bit of celery salt. Now, I forgot to include like really important parts of this recipe when I was showing you what we needed. You need some chicken broth. About a, it, The recipe calls for about a cup, so I'm just gonna kinda eyeball that. And then two cans of cream of chicken soup. So those are really important parts of this recipe <laughs> that I completely forgot. So let's go ahead, get some chicken broth here in the bottom. Mm, that's, that may be about a cup and a half or so. All right, and then cream of chicken. And then another cream of chicken. All out. And we're just gonna kind of give this a stir. I remember my chicken's frozen and that's okay. I'm just gonna cook down. And it'll be just fine. All right, um, and I need my three tablespoons of garlic. Go ahead and put that in there. And then, calls for 12 ounces of frozen vegetables. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball that. Let's give it another stir. Oh, 
Might be a little bit more vegetables. Let this cook. It says between four and six hours, so we'll come back and see what it's looking like. Okay, our chicken pot pie in the crock pot. It's been cooking on low. I started it out on high and we cooked it for a couple of hours on high and then I turned it to low because I had to leave and run some errands. So it's looking like the chicken is done. I'm going to it was chicken strips to begin with, or the tenders, so there's not huge chunks of chicken, but I'm gonna go ahead and like break up some of those pieces of chicken. And I may, because it does seem a little watery, more of a <laughs> soup-like consistency, and you know, I didn't measure anything out, like I normally don't measure <laughs> anything out, so I probably put more um, chicken broth in what I should have, but I think I'm going to take a little bit of the juice out and make a roux with some cornstarch and put that back in and see if I can thicken it up just a little bit. And I'm gonna preheat the oven for the biscuits that we're going to eat with our chicken pot pie. got the chicken pretty much shredded up. There's a few bigger pieces, but I don't think anybody in my family is going to be mad about that if they get a big piece of chicken and their pot pie. So, and the cornstarch that worked, it th it's thickened it up already. And I'm about to put the sour cream in, mix that in, and then we'll get our biscuits cooked and we'll plate this up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the sour cream in. I think the recipe calls for like a half a cup, and I'm not even sure that I have a half a cup in this container, but we're gonna use what we have. I'm just gonna get that mixed in. 
It's looking really creamy and yummy. Alright, let's get those biscuits cooked. Our biscuits are done, so I'm just gonna serve it like this. I'm gonna put my biscuit in the bowl and put the chicken pot pie in the crock pot mixture just right on top of it. And you can see it has thickened up tremendously after I put the um, sour cream and then the, the roux with the cornstarch mixture. So I'm just gonna dish it right over the top and this makes a lot <laughs> of chicken pot pie. So if, you're, if your family's like my family, we will not be able to eat all this in one serving. So I will freeze it and we will have this another day. So there is our chicken pot pie in the crock pot. This was a super easy crock pot meal. Just put everything in there, let the crock pot do the work. At the end of the day, I cooked up the canned biscuits and then you have this really easy hearty crock pot meal so be sure and go down below and check out angel's channel and the playlist i know you're going to get lots of great ideas for dinners thanks guys for watching and i'll see you soon